This presentation will give you a brief overview designed to complement your reading and module assignments, focusing on disorders that affect the nervous system, referred to as neurological disorders. Cerebral palsy, also known as CP, occurs either prior to birth, during birth, or within the first two years of life. Cerebral refers to the brain, while palsy means muscle weakness or problem. CP is the result of brain damage, injury, or malformation. The primary characteristics include weakness, paralysis, poor muscle tone, and lack of coordination. It is non-progressive but permanent and is one of the most common motor disabilities affecting children. Secondary conditions are common, including sensory, communication, and learning impairments. Recreational therapy designs programs to assist individuals with cerebral palsy to develop motor skills, improve range of motion, and, and education about adaptive equipment. RT often focuses on community reintegration, aquatics, equine-assisted therapy, and adapted sports. Cerebral vascular accident, also referred to as CVA or stroke, occurs when the blood vessels that supply oxygen to the brain are blocked or ruptured. There are several different conditions that can result in one having a CVA. One issue that impacts the individual is the timing of receiving care. Often care is delayed as the symptoms may not be viewed as a major issue. It is important to seek care immediately when an individual has a drooping face, slurred speech, and numbness or weakness in the arms. Residual effect could range from permanent paralysis to complete recovery. Recreational therapists need to understand the impact of lifestyle choices on having a CVA. Risk factors include high blood pressure, heart disease, and obesity. RT's focus treatment based on which side of the brain was impacted by the stroke, ranging from visual neglect training, increasing strength, community reintegration, adaptive equipment, communication techniques, and range of motion exercises. Multiple sclerosis also known as MS, refers to a condition when the myelin surrounding the nerves of the brain, optic nerve, and spinal cord is destroyed, resulting in scar tissue or plaques, also known as lesions, which cause disruption to the transmission of impulses to the brain. MS is typically diagnosed between the ages of 20 and 50 and is more common in women. The symptoms experienced by individuals is dependent on the location of the lesions and the nerves that are blocked. There is no known cure for MS. However, the symptoms are treatable. Multiple sclerosis has different forms that are characterized by attacks and remission of symptoms. Individuals with MS often experience incontinence, psychological, and physical limitations. Recreational therapists typically target the individual's mobility issues, depression, pain, and fatigue issues. Temperature regulation can be challenging for individuals with MS. Indivi interventions might include leisure education, yoga and meditation, as well as physical activity. Seizure disorders, of which epilepsy is one type, refers to a condition resulting from abnormal brain functioning. It is characterized by a sudden change in consciousness and behavior that is characterized by involuntary motor activity. Epilepsy can be diagnosed when there are at least two or more unprovoked seizures. There are different types of seizures depending on the body parts involved and one's loss of consciousness. There are multiple factors that can contribute to seizure activity, ranging from alcoholism to brain damage. The impact to the individual can range from 
reduced coordination to generalized fatigue. Recreational therapists may design programs to address the secondary conditions associated with seizures, such as addiction and traumatic brain injury. RTs will want to make sure that if an individual experiences a seizure during an in intervention, safety precautions have been considered, as well as ensuring there are no excessive environmental stimuli. Interventions might include creative arts, leisure education, relaxation skills, and social skills. Taking in the disorders discussed in this presentation on neurological impairments, there are several things to consider when thinking about assessment, planning, implementation, and evaluation, API process. The Comprehensive Evaluation of Recreational Therapy Physical Disabilities, known as the cert sci -DIS, and the Functional Assessment of Characteristics for Therapeutic Recreation Revised, known as FACT-R, are helpful in measuring functional abilities. Some contraindications for this disorder in the presentation include safety precautions, environmental temperatures, and swallowing limitations. Other contributing factors to consider are the side effects of medications, overall weakness and fatigue, and behavioral changes. In addition, the use of adaptive equipment can impact participation. It is important to consider how the individual ambulates as well as transferring needs. Ensuring safety is imperative in the treatment process. Make sure you fully understand the disorder you have chosen for your project, including an overall understanding of the medical condition and the factors that impact the individuals living with said condition.